In this example, we're going to use RStudio to solve a problem for a random variable that has a normal distribution. Suppose the force acting on a column that helps support a building is a normally distributed random variable where x has a mean of 15 kips and a standard deviation of 1.25 kips. What is the probability that the force is less than 18 kips? And what is the probability that the force is between 14 and 18 kips? We're going to use R to answer these questions. So the first step is to define mu and sigma. So in this example, the mean is equal to 15 kips and the standard deviation is equal to 1.2. So I'm going to define mu and sigma. Then I'm going to draw this normal distribution so I can get an idea of what it looks like. I'm going to run this section of code. And if I want to zoom that in, it looks like the mean is 15 and one standard deviation up from the mean is 16.2, two standard deviations up is 17.4, three is 18.6, and the standard deviations below are here as well. All right, so that gives me an eyeball account of what the distribution looks like and what my areas under the curve should be. I can kind of approximate from that, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. So if I want to know the probability that x is less than 18 kips, I can use this command p norm. So p, again, is always going to be the cumulative density function. So p of a normal distribution where I'm looking for the area that falls below 18, mu is defined as 15, and sigma is defined as 1.2. I can run this line. And sure enough, I get a probability of 0 0.9937903. And that really makes sense because if we look at our graphical display, we can see that that's almost all of the area that's falling below 18. 18 would be somewhere up here, and so that value of 0.99 makes a lot of sense. All right, so we could have also just used p norm 18, 15, 1.2. So we wouldn't, if we didn't define mu and sigma beforehand, we could have just used this command, and we'll get the exact same value. All right, so let's go ahead and draw this into our distribution. What does it look like when we add the area in? Sure enough, this is the area that falls below 18, and this is the tiny little area that is above 18, and it's really, really small. So definitely the probability of 0.99 makes sense. All right, and so we can then calculate the probability that x is between 18 and 14. And if we look at that, again, on our graphical display, we can see that that's 18 and 14 is somewhere down here, so it should be about this shaded region. We're going to get rid of this portion of data. And so this is how we can do that. We, we get the cumulative density function, so all the area that falls below 18, and then we subtract off all the area that falls below 14 to get the stuff in the middle. So if we use the same p-norm command, we get then the probability is 0.791462. So there's a pretty good chance that it will fall between 14 and 18 kips. All right, so let's go back and look at what the other questions are. So now it looks like we want to find the force that represents the median and the 75th percentile. So let's go back over to R to use the q-norm command to calculate these problems. So we can use Q norm, that's quantile of the normal distribution, to calculate the median. And the median is always the 50th percentile. So if we put in 0.5 mu then sigma, we should get 15. And sure enough, we do. So that is the median of the normal distribution. And it is exactly the same thing as the average because the normal distribution is symmetric. So the mean and the median are the same for a symmetric distribution. All right, so now let's go ahead and calculate the 75th percentile and look at what that looks like. And that is equal to 15.81. And so let's go ahead and do a little experiment here. Let's go ahead and take 15.81, and I rounded it a little bit, and plug it in up here so we can look at what it looks like on the graph. Plug it in there. I'm going to rerun this section up here of this code. And then I'm going to rerun this area. And if I zoom in, that is then the area that cuts off the lower 75% of the data from the upper 25% of the data. And that looks pretty accurate. And so, and it should be because we've used the software to find it. So 
15.81-ish is then the 75th percentile.